I'll recognize myself first. We are in the midst of a hard economic time for Americans. They are worried about whether they will be able to provide for their families. With unemployment over 10% for the first time in a generation, jobs have become threatened and scarce. There are almost 8 million jobs in America that could be available now for American workers. This is the Pew Hispanic Center's most recent estimate of the number of jobs held by illegal immigrants. Recapturing these jobs for American and legal immigrant workers should be one of the federal government's highest priorities. That the Secretary of Homeland Security urges amnesty for the illegal immigrants who hold these millions of jobs insults unemployed and underpaid Americans. The most effective means we can have of making these jobs available to American citizens and legal immigrants is U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE worksite enforcement actions. Each time ICE detains and deports an illegal immigrant worker, ICE creates a job for an American worker. Each time the Department of Justice criminally sanctions an employer, it sends a clear message that the employment of illegal immigrants will not be tolerated. Last February, Secretary Napolitano seriously damaged immigration and customs enforcement morale when she criticized ICE agents who had conducted a routine enforcement action in Washington state. Still, I was prepared to wait until the end of fiscal year 2009 before commenting on DHS's efforts. Fiscal year 2009 is now over and the results are in. Statistics from ICE indicate that administrative arrests pursuant to worksite enforcement actions have fallen 68% from 2008 to 2009. Criminal arrests have fallen 60%, criminal indictments have fallen 58%, and criminal convictions have fallen 63%. And we have a chart. Where is the chart? Uh, up to uh, show that in all these categories, arrests, indictments, and convictions uh, are down over half just since last year. Uh, an indication, of course, of the Obama administration's unwillingness to put American workers and legal immigrants first and try to project, protect jobs for them. It's hard to conceive of a worse time to cut worksite enforcement efforts by more than half, and yet that is what the administration has done. The Department of Homeland Security will tell you that they have increased the number of worksite I-9 I audits of employers. Well, those audits, of course, are a farce. Employers consider the paltry fines just the cost of doing business. And what happens to the illegal workers? Let me quote from Minnesota Public Radio about the aftermath of an audit that identified 1,200 illegal immigrants in well-paying janitorial jobs. Quote, the most important rumor to dispel was that the workers were arrested. Unlike raids at the Swift Meat Packing Plant in 2006 and the Postville, Iowa raid in 2008, the ABM janitors would not be rounded up or arrested. Minnesota Public Radio quotes a retired ICE official who wondered, quote, how effective this enforcement will be considering the workers are free to move into other jobs. And it quotes a representative of the Immigrant Law Center as stating that the vast majority of the 1,200 illegal workers will, quote, probably try to wait it out, hoping for the laws to change so they can work here legally. Well, how did DHS create jobs for legal American workers when it simply told 1,000 illegal immigrants to go down the street and knock on the door of the next employer? How did DHS crack down on rampant identity theft when it told those illegal immigrants who used stolen social security numbers to simply try them out on the next employer? Citizens and legal immigrants should not be forced to compete with illegal immigrants for jobs. The Obama administration should put the interests of American workers ahead of illegal immigrants. 